Hello guys, a while ago I received an email with a question and finally got time to make this demo about seeding a few levels deep. So for example, you have a customer, has many orders, each order has many leases and each lease has one car. Or another example would be customer, order, then order extra product something, each product has something else. So how would it look if you want to seed some fake data? Should we create separate seeder or can we combine it in one seeder? Let's take a look at the demo that we came up with with my colleague David. So this is the code initial and we will fill that in with the code of seeding the relationship. But for now the structure. Customer model has many orders. Then order model has many products. Then product model has many ingredients. For example like a pizza or something. So we have four models and how to seed, for example, 10 customers with their orders, each order with a product and each product with ingredients. And for that, according to Laravel documentation, we can use the syntax. So parent model has child model, which would automatically create both. For that, of course, we need to define the factories. So in customer factory, we have database factory, customer factory, first name and last name. So something like this. And then for each customer, we need to add an order as well. So we use the same syntax. Has order factory, for example, to, let's try it out. So now if I run artisan migrate fresh with seeds, would it work? Yep, seeding the database worked. And in the database, I have 100 customers with their orders. Yes, two orders per customer ID. So 200 records in the orders table. And that was, as I said, according to the official Laravel documentation. But what Laravel documentation doesn't cover and doesn't say about is that you can go a few levels deeper than that. So with this post factory, you can also attach has. So let's do exactly that. So has order factory, then another has, has product factory, product factory, for example, order three products each and let's put it on another line and let's try to relaunch our seeds. So PHP Artisan Migrate Fresh Seed, is it successful? Took a bit longer, but successful. Refresh the database, orders still 200 orders with different data, but do we have products? Yes, we do have products, three products per order, as I mentioned here. And of course, product has its own factory, so the rules for the product are just these. And of course, the parent ID, the product's order ID is filled by the has many relationship automatically within that seed. So the order is created and then that order ID becomes the order ID of the product. And then let's go one more level deep because each product may have ingredients. So we do another level of has ingredients model factory for example, five ingredients on each pizza or something, and let's relaunch our migrations with seeds. Relaunch, is it successful? Now it takes a bit longer, but it is successful. And refresh the database, we still have 600 products, so 200 orders times three 600 rows in products and ingredients, we have 3000 rows, five ingredients for each product, exactly as we specified here in the code. Let's make it a bit prettier with auto formatting. So this is the final syntax. So you can create a customer with factory and then you can go unlimited level of has many in one seeder file. Of course, each case is individual and you may structure it differently, but I just wanted to show you the case of using the same Laravel syntax, but with more than one level of relationships. Have you done something similar in your projects? Share in the comments below your experience and let's discuss. And if you want to find out a practical example of factories, I talk about that in my latest course about Laravel testing for beginners. So if we scroll down, one of the lessons is about factories and how to use them in automated tests, for example. I will link that course in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.